Hey guys, my name is Rob, and welcome back to some more H1. Now you guys might be wondering why am I in the main menu and actually not in game. Well, th there's actually something I want to talk about, which is is H1 dead? This is kind of a thing that's been surfacing around a little bit. I know I experienced this yesterday, um, trying to look for a game, and as well, Nero Cinema made a video talking about this. But pretty much. There is not that many people that are playing H1 anymore. I don't know how we'll create this video, maybe I'll throw this intro section and then throw some random highlights that fit. Or I'll just make a commentary video where I'll just talk about this and kind of just put gameplay in the background, I don't know. I don't know how to do it, but you guys will figure out when I edit this. Pretty much as you can see, there is not that many people playing. And as you can see, it says players 80 by 80 and 70 cents. You might, you think that like, oh yeah, these are real players, but no. The number next to this um, actual total player count is actually the amount of bots in the server. If the number is 18 in this bracket, that means there's 18 bots on the server. And for some reason, if there's maximum amount of bots, it will say the server is full. Like, I'll try it right here. Look, I'll try loading it to the server, which I... And you, as you can see, it kicks me out. It will say the server is full, which makes absolutely zero sense. And I don't really know what server I want to play because most of these are just bots. So there's not that really many servers that have most, like, real people. <laughs> All these are just bots. But yeah, as I was saying, Nero uh, Cinema made a video talking about the fact that H1 is, is pretty much dead. It really sucks because this was, this was a breath of fresh air for Call of Duty because Vanguard, we, we know how Vanguard is, Vanguard is pretty shit. I gave it hope, I didn't call, I didn't want it to be a bad game. But here we are, the game game died pretty much on launch, I mean the game was dead from the beginning, no one was buying that shit. I made a few sniping videos on the game, it was kind of fun, the only fun maps on that game. Probably ship, Shipment and Darth House, the only, I'd say Darth House is way better than Shipment. Like the other maps were just big and spawned with trash. Anyways, I'm gonna get into a server and just continue talking about how unfortunately H1 might be dying very quickly. What I was actually gonna do, I was gonna create a video using the M21 and say like, oh, this is the sniper that nobody uses, you know, because who runs around with an M21? You know, most people run with the M40, the R700, or the s -Tech. Those are the only like three snipers that I see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that video might not come out because there's literally nobody playing it unless you guys want to see bots as clips, but the, you know, they are not usable and there's no point of playing if all you're gonna play against is bots. That's just it's kinda of pointless to play if you're playing just gets bots. That's just pretty much like going into custom games. You know what I mean? It's pretty much what I think the main reason of this a uh, client dying is how many issues people have with the game. And this might not be the most accurate point that I make, but for a lot of people, people struggle to download H1. Especially myself. I am one of the few people who, oh my God, I can't even explain to you how much of a pain it was to install a client. I, installing IDP for X was not as tough as this one. <laughs> With IW4X, I believe you just simply, you simply just put the IW4X client into your MW2 file. Other all you have to do is put the mod into your MW2 folder, and it just and you just install it. You you click on the mod, it will give you a command prompt. You select that you want to install, repair, or quit. You obviously want to install it, but in case if there's any trouble, you can repair it. And I've had zero issues. 
explain the client at all. Like, no issues, no errors, no nothing. You know, like, occasional, like, command errors there and there, but, like, you know, nothing runs perfect, right? However, with this client, since I didn't have the game, I had to completely just download the game. Like, the whole 80 gigs. I thought it'd be as simple as, you know, just drop in the client into your file, and you, know, you install it, and you can play. That's what I thought, anyway. However, I tried to launch the game, and... I'm pretty sure at first I got like a graphics error where I said I needed to update my graphics drivers and my Windows drivers or like, you know, Windows update drivers and I was like, you know what, okay, I'll check and I didn't have, obviously I didn't have my PC up to date and I was like, yeah, I'll just update my PC drivers and I'll be good to go I did all that I even checked my NVIDIA graphics drivers, they were all up to date and it still said that I need to update my graphics drivers, which made zero sense. Uh, you know, your game runs on you know what GPU you have, and if you take someone else's config, it, the game will think that you're running on a 3080, which obviously the game wouldn't work. How I fixed my game was pretty much running it through Steam. Oh yeah, that's another error. It said the game must be running through Steam, and even if I was running it through Steam, it still was not working. So I was like, what the fuck do I do? I had to install the game so many times, you have no idea how many times I installed this game. It was hard. One of the worst experiences. Like, H1's great, but installing this thing was fucking ass. Like, at, at a point, I just said, I just wanted to give up. I just wanted to give up and just never create content on H1. And as you can see, I mean, it's just bots now. This is what you're gonna get with pretty much every single server. If H1 does not get repopulated, then I don't think I'm going to be creating much content on H1. Just because content won't be as fun to watch if it was made by real people. And obviously, as a channel that's uh, the channel that I run, it's mainly based off clips, mainly based on highlights that I hit. My channel is based on Call of Duty clips. That's what my channel is based off. And if I'm just going against bots, I can't do anything about it. Except, just not play the game, play something else. Which is why I think I'm gonna create this into like a commentary video. Because I don't think I'm gonna have anything for clips wise for a video. And I've been thinking, to be honest, I've been thinking that I wanted to maybe step out of my comfort zone a little bit instead of just hiding behind the highlights and clips, just drag and drop them. I think I wanna include myself a lot more, if that makes sense. Like I just want to ramble about stuff, my, people might call it this, but you know, talking to a screen really isn't as simple as it sounds. For someone like me, it's a struggle. There's many times where I have to repeat what I say, because I don't think ahead of what I want to say, so I'm just pretty much improvising word by word. So yeah, I do apologize, my commentary is a bit off at times, not really my strong suit. But you know, I'm trying to include my voice, trying to improve it, trying to get used to it really. Yeah, I think for the future, I think I'm gonna do highlights and commentary videos, but I'm not sure which I want to do more. Or I just want to stick to one thing only. Yeah, as I was saying, H1 is pretty much just dead. You won't find any real players. And if real players that you'll find, it's gonna be like maybe three or four people in each server. And it's like apparently around like 90 servers or 85 servers to play. I just don't think content on this game is gonna. I, don't, I just don't think H1's gonna last that long, to be honest. With the decline that it's in right now, and the client's been out for like, what, two weeks? Like, like maybe close to two weeks, and it's already dead. It's not really looking good, and I've... And again, I watched the nearest cinema video, and apparently a player count yesterday, or today, earlier, was like, 100? Less than 100? I mean, it's okay, but it's like, nothing great. God, this LMG bot is annoying. It's running Juggernaut as well. That's gross. I also want to thank you guys for watching these uh, past few videos. Like, these videos have been doing super well. Because people really love H1. I mean, I love Modern Warfare Remastered. I love COD 4. I wanted to play it again on Xbox, but, you know, I bought this game on a disc. And my Xbox does not have a disc insert. My console does not have a disc slot where you can insert the disc. It's all digital. 
And I'm so glad that this client exists because I get to experience running for a muscle PC, which I never did. Yeah, I posted commentary to talk about the downfall of the H1 client. Really sad to see, especially like all the hype that was built around the client. And I hope and I wish, fingers crossed here, that the service gets repopulated, that more people start coming to play the game again. I think it's just because of the bugs and the issues the client has. It's what's turning people off this game. Even with me, I was about to not play this client because of the issues I've been running into trying to download this shit. Like finally I got it to work somehow, I don't know how I got it to work. I just got it working, thankfully, but um, let me know what you guys opinion of H1 is down in the comments. I think the H1 client will last as long or will it die off. Also if you guys wanted to see me do more commentary videos, make sure to let me know in the comments as well. I would love to do videos like this. I would love to just play games and just talk about whatever I want. It does seem fun to do. It's been Rob. Take care. Bye.